Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about internets and its application. So let's get started. What is internet? The term internet is derived from two words interconnection and networks. The internet also known as the NAT is a networks where each network consists of multiple numbers of computers connected through cables, wireless or any other media, enabling them to communicate and share files and other resources. A computer network is a set of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing resources. The most common resource shared today is the connection to the internet. So, first we will understand what is a network. When two or more devices are interconnected with each other to communicate and share file information and resources, it is a network. Then what is a computer network? A computer network is a collection of two or more computers which are interconnected with each other to communicate or share files and information. It is a computer network. So the internet stands for interconnection of and network means internet is an interconnection of network in which network of the whole world are interconnected with each other to share the information and resources all around the world. Evolution of Internet The foundation of Internet was laid in 1969 when the Department of Defense of United States of America stated a network called ARFANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, to connect its various universities and defense agencies. This network was used for exchanging data and messages, playing games, sharing views and ideas on any topic among engineers, students, scientists, etc. The main objective of Airfonet was to develop a network that could continue to function efficiently even during a nuclear attack. Over the time, this network expanded to include websites for business, universities, government and so on finally become a network consisting of millions of computers now known as the Internet. So, we can see the foundation of Internet was take place in 1969 when the Department of Defense of United States of America has created a network and the name of the network is Advanced Research Project Agency Network and they have created this network to connect all the computers of their three or four universities so that they can communicate with each other and scientists, engineers, students can exchange the information and the research work with each other. And the main objective of creating this network is that even during a nuclear attack, the army people, the defense agency are able to communicate with each other. Over the time, this network was expanded and more and more computers are connected with each other. More, more and more universities, business companies and governments has uh, created their network and all these networks are interconnected with each other, which now a day is known as the Internet. WWW or World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is simply the web is a collection of linked document or pages stored on millions of computers and spread over the entire internet. The web provides a framework for organizing and presenting any kind of information such as text, images, sound and video. World Wide Web was proposed between 1989 to 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee. So we know that the information on the internet is stored in the form of electronic document or web pages. And these millions of electronic document are linked with each other and stored on a computer on the internet which is known as server. 
these electronic document contain information which is in the form of text images sounds and videos difference between world wide web and internet the internet is a huge network of computers all connected together the world wide web is a collection of web pages found on this network of computers your web browser uses the internet to access the web the internet is a global network of networks while the web also referred formally as world wide web is a collection of information which is accessed by the internet another way to look at this difference is the internet is infrastructure while the web is service on top of that infrastructure so world wide web and internet both are different you can't say that internet is a world wide web and world wide web is an internet because internet is a network of network in which all the networks of the world are interconnected with each other or we can say that all the computers are connected with each other to share information and resources whereas world wide web is a collection of information in the form of web pages which is accessed with the help of internet moreover world wide web is one of the facility or service provided by the internet so we can say that internet is a container and world wide web is an item in that container web pages a web page is a digital document that is linked to the world wide web and viewable by anyone connected to the internet having a web browser it can contain information such as text graphics animation video and sound etc content wise the components of a web page are hypertext and hyperlinks hypertext refers to the combination of text graphic images audio and video tracks and hyperlinks a hyperlink refers to the dynamic link upon clicking at which a new web page or program opens so in simple words web page is a collection of information on the internet web page contain information such as text graphic animation video sound etc it is a digital document on the internet that can be accessed with the help of web browser hypertext hypertext is a text which contain link to other text where you can find additional information now sometimes you are visiting a website and you have seen some highlighted text or images are there it is a hyperlink so a hyperlink are the highlighted text segments or images and when we are going to click on these text segments or images it will open a new web page or a website so we can see hyperlink is the highlighted text segments which will open or which will link web pages and website website a collection of related web pages stored on a web server is known as website the web pages are organized in a website like the pages of book each website is owned and updated by an individual company or organization so simply website is a collection of related web pages and what is the meaning of related web pages suppose a school website is there so we know that website is a collection of web pages so in a school website all the related web pages are there of the school it's not like that other uh, organization or other school web pages are there in that website that is why we say a website is a collection of related web pages stored on the web server web pages are organized in a website like a pages of book we have seen that in a book so many pages are there in the same way in a website so many related web pages are there which contain related information about that website it is maintained by different individual organizations suppose school website is there which is which is going to be maintained by the school a company website is there which is going to be maintained by the company or a government website is there which is going to be maintained by that government home page The first page that you see when you open any website is known as the home page 
or index page. It provides the basic information about the website. It may also contain the links to other pages on the website. So whenever you are visiting any website, the first page which is going to be open of that website is the home page or we can say it is an index page. This page contains a basic information about the website and all the other related web pages are linked with this home page. Web browser. To find, retrieve, view and send information over the internet, a software known as the web browser is required. A web browser is a software interface which enables you to read web pages and move from one web page to another. There are many browsers available in the market, example Google Chrome, Netscape Navigator, Internet Explorer, Safari and Opera. So, suppose I want to access any web page or information from the internet, I need a software which help me or which help me to read the information available on the internet. So, simply web browser is a software tool which enables you to read the web pages on the internet. Web server. A web server is a computer that runs websites. It's a computer program that distributes web pages as they are requested. The basic objective of the web server is to store, process and deliver web pages to the users. Any computer that receives requests from client computer processes and sends the output. Web server responds to web related requests. So web server is a storage place on the internet where web pages and websites are stored and whenever a user requests for a web page on the internet, web server will receive and process that request and send that information to the user. Any computer on the internet in which server software is installed is going to act as a server. URL Uniform Resource Locator The internet is made up of millions of pages of information. To assess these pages, you need to have an address of these pages. Each web page has a unique address called URL that is Uniform Resource Locator. URL gives the web browser the location of the web page or other resources on the internet. So, Every web page on the internet has its own unique address and with the help of this unique address which is known as URL Uniform Resource Locator, we are able to assess the information of that web pages on the internet. So URL gives the web browser the location of the web page or other resources on the internet. See the example of URL. HTTP it is a protocol and HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol which is responsible for transferring of web pages from one computer to another computer on the internet. www.yahoo.com This is the domain name of the website. Education and FIIT It is a directory, folders and subfolders. Home.html it is that web page which we are assessing on the internet. It is the name of the web page which we are assessing on the internet. Client and web client. Any computer on the networks that requests services from another computer on the internet, it is a client computer. Web client. A web client is a program or a component on client side that requests and uses service provided by the web server. Example of web clients are web browser. Client server architecture. The web browser and the web server are linked together using client server architecture. Let us understand the concept of client server architecture. 
the client server architecture is a network architecture in which each computer on the network is either a client or a server so have a look at client server architecture in a client server architecture client is a computer which want to access the information of web page from the internet and server is the place where that information is stored so client computer using a web client is going to send a request to the server computer server computer is going to accept that request from the client computer and then it is going to process that request that is search that information in the server database and if that information is available in the database server computer it is going to respond to the client computer with that information then the client computer is going to receive that information and it is going to display on a web browser so this is the process how client and server computer communicate and exchange the information in client server architecture so this much only in my this tutorial please like and subscribe my video and click on the bell icon notification to get all the latest update of my upcoming videos Thank you.